Hi guys, this is uh, my video of the Maritime Hotel in Mauritius. Uh, it basically is a, a walkthrough of the hotel and the grounds, including the golf course. It's quite long, about 30 minutes, so I don't know if you'll manage to get all the way to the end, but it may help if you're heading out to Mauritius and specifically the Maritime uh, Hotel. I will be doing a follow-up video and it will discuss some hints and tips for when you're actually there at the hotel uh, and also one or two issues that you may come across that we encountered. Uh, it makes for some good listening, it may help for when you're away. So thanks for watching, uh, any comments I'm quite happy to have them, could you like? and subscribe if possible that would be even better and we'll catch you in the next video i'll have a quick word at the end of this one just to remind you thank you hi this film is a, a bit of a walk through at the maritime hotel in mauritius and it's really to give you a good idea of what you can expect when you go there uh, this is actually coming in from, we had been out in a glass bottom boat uh, which the hotel provide, it's a bit of a short trip, only about 45-50 minutes and this is us just coming back, it's pretty much the, I think the second day we're there and it gives you a bit of an idea of the, the front uh, from the water side uh, of what the resort actually looks like. That is the far end of the, the beach, that's as far as you can walk, you'll see the pier in the distance there. Uh, you can walk beyond that but there's not a great deal to see uh, other than the resort next door. Uh, what you see there is uh, one of the main bars, the deck bar. Uh, with the grass roof or thatched roof. Behind that is some of the uh, rooms. That's a good bit of beach there. And we're just coming into the pier. Most of what you see most of what happens is at the pier as far as water sports are concerned uh, you've got uh, water skiing, uh, sailing, parasailing, uh, pedalos, whatever you like uh, it's pretty much there. Uh, some you do have to pay for like parasailing but uh, water skiing uh, is free uh, as are the sailing boats. <coughs> Excuse me as are the sailing boats and uh, pedalos, they're all free. Uh, they do water skiing twice a day, uh, I think at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Uh, that's basically the wee beach that you pick up your pedalo or sailing boat. Uh, this is a view of the uh, rooms from the beach. That's the main boat area you get your life jackets and that is the boathouse just there uh, where you'll book maybe parasailing or your pedalos or sailing dinghies whatever the guys are very good very helpful this is a view from the front you got the wee trolleys there uh, they're like golf trolleys or buggies uh, they take you up this road that i'm going to walk up with you uh, which is actually the driveway right up to the gates uh, and it's quite a long walk. The buggies that are there, they're used to take you back and forward to the uh, Chateau Mont Désir, uh, one of the uh, very expensive restaurants uh, on the resort. That little lane there off to the left, that takes you round to the resort uh, spa, 
where you can get uh, all your pampered requirements. The resort is pretty well signposted, uh, I'll show you quite a few of them uh, as we walk through. Here on the right is the archery, it's not going on at the moment, but generally it's about, uh, I think, 10 o'clock in the morning. We got maybe two hours, two and a half hours, which we did one day, and it was really, really good. Uh, good instruction. Uh, over the road, you'll see the tennis courts. Uh, it's quite hot in Mauritius, so we didn't see very many people using the tennis courts. In fact, we only seen them being used once the whole time we were there. We were, we were there for uh, two weeks. Grounds are absolutely lovely, very well kept and I think they even got uh, some award last year or the year before for the best kept uh, grounds. This is a still going up the driveway. The hotel is equipped with a helipad and Helicopters do come in uh, regularly, maybe one or two a day. Uh, this is us now up to the entrance gates. Uh, we do have some guards on the gates that open the gates for anybody coming in and out. And uh, it's very well policed. Uh, very polite people. This is what they go through every time uh, somebody's coming in or out. The gates are open for them. This is near the Chateau Mont Désir. It is a five star restaurant, uh, very expensive. You do have to book this.
next to the stables is the giant tortoises uh, there's quite a few i think there's about 10 uh, and also a little animal farm uh, which didn't uh, receive a lot of attention i've got to say but uh, i've got a little bit of video of it as well so you'll see that in all honesty the giant tortoises don't do a lot But they are there, and apparently they live. They can live between a hundred and two hundred years. The horse stables and the small animal farm has goats and uh, ducks, hens, and stuff, and the cage next to it has a little dog, don't know what that's about. There's quite a lot of dogs actually roam free throughout Mauritius, so you'll probably see quite a few. They do riding lessons up here, uh, and they do have a number of horses. I think it's about nine or ten in total. These horses actually come down to the beach and some of them do roll about in the sand and then they're taken at the sea for a swim and you do get the opportunity to bring the horses down and swim with them they're very well kept the horses i've got to say the aroma wasn't too bad This is down on the lower level in front of the uh, chateau and again there's some lovely views even up to the, uh, the chateau. That's an events field. I don't know what kind of events they have but I didn't see any going on when we were there. And again some of the ruins as well. This is the path that takes you back down to the beach uh, and joins up with the resort at the boathouse. There's some good walks, uh, quite a few different walks you can take and some really nice things to see. This is just walking down the side of the river heading towards the beach, as you can see in the distance there. And this brings you back round to the, the boathouse. This is from the driveway just beyond the front of the hotel. Uh, there's a path along to the spa. There is a croquet there which we did manage to have a couple of games of. Uh, first time for everything. This is the spa for the hotel. Uh, you can pretty much get anything you require. Uh, they have some wide and varied uh, treatments for anybody and some of them are free 
believe you can get a, a sauna uh, hot tub for free uh, I don't know the cost of any of the other stuff like massages and stuff like that 